What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my Amazon FBA journey. Let's get right into this. Okay, so I'm really excited because our first shipment has been sent to Amazon FBA today. And I'm really excited to see what happens moving forward. If you guys missed my last video talking about Amazon FBA, I basically explained in that video how we are starting out, what we plan on doing, and shared a couple products that I purchased to send to Amazon FBA. Now, we purchased those products back in uh, November, back for Black Friday, and we're only shipping them to Amazon now, December 17th, as the time I'm recording this video. And I really wish we would have jumped on it sooner and shipped it sooner and tried to get some last minute Christmas um, sales before the holidays end which didn't happen, and by the time Amazon gets our package, it's going to likely be after Christmas, which is not ideal, it's not what we wanted, but it is okay. Um, in the last video, I also explained I'm not going in on this alone. I'm going in with two other co-workers, the three of us. We're going to be sharing the responsibilities, and we're going to be splitting the costs of our shipping and the products and the cost of having Amazon uh, and Amazon seller's accounts. And on top of that, we're going to be splitting... Uh, the profit whenever our items do sell. We have a whole plan, which I'm not going to be explaining in the video because that's our personal business plan. But uh, so far, so good. Our first package ships today, and that's what I'm going to be mainly focusing on. Um, basically, one of, our, one of the guys got the boxes for me. One of the guys got the bubble wrap. I supplied a bunch of the newspaper, and I wanted to ship everything out. So by the time we got it, that's why it was so delayed because... We didn't want to pay to buy boxes or buy bubble wrap or try to buy um, supplies for shipping. We wanted to get boxes and get everything sorted and situated, which we did, which is why there was such a huge delay. Um, basically, the easiest thing for me was to ship it. I actually thought that was going to be really hard. Of course, as I mentioned before, I got 20 knives for us for Amazon FBA. Now, before we joined forces for this uh, journey... I purchased a dash cam and three Bluetooth speakers for myself, so I decided to ship them in the same box, so it made it easier for me. Now, whenever I logged on to Amazon to create this shipment, the thing for me that was the best thing that I found out for this shipment, all three items were going to one location. I live in Ontario, Canada, and all of the stuff were going to go to British Columbia. So, at first, that made it easier because all three items are getting sent to one location instead of having to split up our products. But it also made it a little bit stressful, stressful finding the shipping costs and how we were going to ship it there. Um, I live in Canada and I know in the U.S. you guys have um, Amazon has uh, discounts with UPS and other couriers. In Canada, for the longest time, we didn't. So I knew Canada Post would have likely been our cheapest alternative. I checked with them. It would have cost $30 to ship this box. It's about 12 pounds. Uh, kind of a small box, but still 12 pounds. So $30 to ship, I felt like that was too much. I checked with UPS, that was $60 to ship. I thought that was crazy. So I checked on Amazon, and Amazon Canada now offers a discount with UPS. And to ship at the same location and everything else is the same, I put the box information in and how much it weighs and everything onto Amazon's website. It calculates the shipping costs with their discounts. And it only cost me $13, almost $14. So... For shipping with UPS, instead of $60, it was $14, let's say. That was awesome. So the first thing that I would recommend if you guys are starting Amazon FBA, your first shipment, check on Amazon, depending on if you live in the United States, Canada, or any other country that does uh, shipping to Amazon, if that's what you plan on doing. Check to see if there is a discount with specific couriers in your area. Amazon might. I know in the longest time for Canada, we did not. But luckily, by the time I'm starting to plan my first shipment with them, they did. So it made it a lot better of experience. Almost uh, a quarter of the cost of what it would have cost to ship with UPS. Half the cost it would have cost us to ship with Canada Post. And that's money that we were able to save. The other thing that scared me that I keep hearing stories about is... Everybody that starts with Amazon FBA, their first shipment always gets declined because they do not know how to ship things they've never shipped something before and they did something wrong so it gets brought back to them and they have to fix that product and ship it again um so i wanted to contact amazon and here's what they told me 
Number one, all the items that Amazon receives need to have a product label over the barcode. And basically you print that off and it's another barcode you place over the product's barcode. So whenever Amazon scans it, that links it directly to your store. Now, if you do not have access to a printer or the supplies, because they actually want stickers, not just on paper and taped on the product. Uh, if you don't have any of the supplies, Amazon will do it for you and it'll cost 20 cents per item. So I was sending 24 items. That was just under $5. We felt like that was better for them to do it for us because we do not have the printer. We do not have the supplies to do it. And for them to do it only 20 cents per item. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. That's a little bit cheaper for us. The other thing is prepping. Uh, certain items that you send to Amazon need to have a specific prep before Amazon receives it. And that's one thing I wanted to look into. So I got all three of my products and I checked with Amazon and thankfully, None of the products that I was sending at this time needed any prep. So you can either prep it yourself. And that includes stuff like poly bags or having to prep certain items in a certain way. Um, or you can get Amazon to do it and that will cost you a little bit. I don't know the exact cost because none of mine needed to be prepped. So I didn't have Amazon do it. So basically all I needed to do was with the box that we had, put all the items in the box and ship it off to Amazon. So I felt like that was really easy. Thankfully, all of the knives were able to be stacked and put into the box and some were up on their sides also. And then I put the dash cam on the bottom and my three Bluetooth speakers on top of the dash cam. Everything just fit in the box. So I was really happy for that. But I wanted a little bit extra protection in the box. So one thing I found out, one thing I was originally going to do was buy a roll of bubble wrap and wrap up each item, each knife individually, each dash cam, uh, each Bluetooth speaker. And put in the box but amazon actually frowns upon that so i don't recommend doing that putting bubble wrap in the box for added protection is okay but wrapping individual items it just makes it harder for them whenever they have to unpackage it and also they want it to be able to be either scanned or have a sticker on top of it that they can scan so they know what the product is so for me i used bubble wrap just over my bluetooth speakers and dash cam loosely just to add a little bit of protection so you can still grab the product out and it's not going to have the bubble wrap wrapped around it. Uh, the other thing is to fill in the empty spaces. Some people use shredded paper. Some people use packing peanuts, which Amazon frowns upon. They do not want to receive anything with that. And if they do, they usually send it back to you. What I would suggest a cheap alternative would be newspaper or sales flyers that you get weekly. Just crinkle it up, put it in the box. That's what I use. And it actually works surprisingly well. It's cheap, you get the newspaper and the flyers every week for free, so why not just use it whenever you're shipping instead of throwing them and putting them in the recycling, just save them and whenever you have to ship, that's what I'm gonna be doing in the future, just using that. Uh, you can purchase stuff, you can purchase bubble wrap, you can go and purchase boxes, but that's what we did not want to do, especially for our first shipment. I got a few boxes and a few extra ones for next time. I got some bubble wrap, so I have some left over for next time and a bunch of newspapers. So the next time I have to ship, I have all the stuff ready and I'm prepared to ship, which makes it a little easier. So the next time we go into stores and purchase items, and once we are ready to ship it, I have all the supplies ready, so we'll be able to ship right away. So everything Amazon is getting from us should be, Amazon should be receiving it and getting the labels on it, hopefully right after Christmas. That's my goal. Um, I shipped with UPS, like I mentioned, and UPS for me, the closest one is about 30 to 40 minutes. So whenever I contacted them, they actually do in-house pickup. So they'll drive to your house, pick up your parcel and then get it shipped for you. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So I recommend if there is a courier that will do at home, like resident pickup for your parcel and you don't have a location nearest to you. I recommend doing that because that saved me from driving 30 minutes and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So for me, our first shipment is shipped. I'm excited. I'm hoping we get a couple sales. Um, I'm really excited to see how my products, the dash cam and the Bluetooth speakers go. Cause that means in the future, if they do really well, I'm going to try to get more of that stuff and find more of that stuff. You know, hopefully if the knives do well, we'll be able to get more in the future and send to Amazon as well. So we're really excited to see what happens, to see what we do in the future. Again, a niche of ours that we want to focus on is toys, but lately we haven't been able to find anything 
because Amazon with the sellers app, whenever we scan items, there's certain items that are restricted to us. And that's harder for us to find items to actually send to Amazon because if it's restricted, we can't sell it. And uh, so that's been frustrating. Certain brands like Hot Wheels, Marvel, Disney, stuff like that, which we understand. So hopefully in the future, we're not going to be restricted. We can do more, but we're just getting into it. So we're going to continue to do Amazon FBA. We're going to continue to do retail arbitrage that's going into stores physically and scanning and looking for items and also online arbitrage. We're going to be looking into that more in depth, but first package is shipped. I'll give you guys an update on what happens afterwards. One thing that sucks I really wanted to include in this video is me putting everything in the box, getting everything ready, putting the uh, Amazon shipping stuff, putting all the information in. I wanted to share that with you guys, kind of like a how-to, but I completely forgot. But anyways, our shipment is on the way to Amazon. This is our first shipment. Hopefully we start to see sales. Hopefully we start to see a little bit of profit and we can continue and use this profit for future products that we purchase to sell on Amazon. I think that's going to be easier for us anyways. Um, and I'll share anything else with you guys. Hopefully I'm going to do some retail arbitrage in the future. If you guys want me to bring you guys along and show you guys what I do in store, comment down below. But hopefully we'll start to see a little bit more profits in the future and share this with you along the way. So hope you guys are enjoying this Amazon journey. We are new to it as well. Like I've mentioned, we're learning everything out and I want to share everything along the way with what we are learning and how we are doing things and approaching things and what we're finding out the right way and the wrong way to do things on Amazon. I basically just want to share that with you guys because I hear that there's a lot of people that you can earn money on Amazon, but there's also a lot of people that do not and they end up backing out really early. So if I can share our experiences and what we are doing to try to get profit in that with you guys, hopefully that will help you guys out along the journey with you if you guys decide to take this journey as well. And that's my goal for this series on my channel. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.